Welcome, music lovers, to another journey into the heart of the banjoverse. I'm your guide, Enda Scal, and today we have a special treat for all of you Irish banjo enthusiasts. In this episode of Inside the Banjoverse, we're diving into a treasure trove of musical gems as I present a second top 10 list of tracks from my personal collection of favourite Irish banjo albums. So sit back, relax, and let the banjoverse unfold before your very ears. Whether you're a seasoned banjo aficionado or new to the world of Irish music, this episode is sure to leave you wanting more fantastic Irish tenor banjo music. Before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to all the patrons of the podcast. And if you'd like to support, you can too at patreon.com forward slash Enda Scal Banjo. We begin this episode with a track from the late Mick Maloney, a true giant of Irish banjo. Beyond his talents as a musician, Mick Maloney's contributions as a folklorist and musicologist are unparalleled. His tireless efforts to preserve and share traditional Irish music have earned him accolades and respect within the folk community. Through meticulous research and captivating storytelling, Mick breathed life into forgotten songs and tales, ensuring their preservation for generations to come. Whether he was performing on prestigious stages, collaborating with fellow musicians, or imparting his wisdom as an educator, Mick Maloney's impact on Irish music is immeasurable. His dedication to the craft and unwavering passion for his cultural heritage have made him a true legend in the realm of Irish music. I met and played with Mick on several occasions, and he was always kind and generous with his time and attention, and I'm very grateful that he wrote the introduction to my first banjo tutorial book. He said lots of nice things about me, and I didn't even have to bribe him. So here is a track from Mick's album, Strings Attached, two reels called My Love is in America and the Listing Bar. Thank you. 
there you have it, the late great Mick Maloney, or Yes J Garawa Anam Jilish. <laughs> the brilliant banjo playing of Teresa O'Grady, the Banjo Easter, from her album, the Banjo Easter. And there are three jigs, Happy to Meet, Sorry to Part, Padrigo Keefs, and Paddy Fahey's. 
And make sure you go and check out Teresa online. She's an incredible banjo teacher, great friend of mine for many, many years, a senior All-Ireland champion. Not many people can say that, including myself and Teresa know that. Wonderful banjo player. Next up is Colm Nocton, a fantastic Galway banjo player. This is from Colm's album, The Space Between the Notes. Three reels called The Merry Sisters, Miss Susan Cooper and Richard Wires. Banjo playing from the great Colm Nocton, a Galway native. And the next track is from Angela Usher, born and raised in Manchester, but spent an awful lot of her summers in Peterswell in Galway. Great Galway connections again. Maybe it's just the banjo. Here's a track from Angela's album, The Gort Mile, The Love of Lucia, Cranman, and Connell's Favourite.
for something completely different, we're going to go to a banjo player called Kieran Ryan. He's Scottish, plays with the band Dallahan. A number of years ago, brought out an album called Banjaxed. And if you haven't seen Kieran, you can go and check out my YouTube channel. That's Endescal uh, Irish Banjo. And I do a weekly banjo series called Pick a Tune Tuesdays. Kieran recorded one of those videos for me recently and definitely worth checking out. Here is a track from his Banjaxed album called Tongue in Cheek. Thank you. 
that's fantastic playing, and I don't think I would be criticised too much for saying that it's reminiscent of a young Seamus Egan. Definitely got some of that solace sound going on. That's the fantastic Kieran Ryan. Here's a man that needs no introduction, the fantastic Brian McGrath, playing the Maids of Mount Cisco from West Along the Road from his album Pure Banjo. next track is from a banjo player called Porrick McDonagher. This album was new to me. It's called About Time and Porrick plays four reels. The Reel of Rio, McFadden's Pigtown and Coleman's Cross. Beautiful playing, very tasty and very, very well recorded. This is Porrick McDonagher. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hendon Road from Eamon Coyne. Eamon is an Irish banjo player from Dublin originally, now lives in Edinburgh. He has had an illustrious career. That's his solo album, which came out in 2002, called Through the Round Window. Eamon has recorded with many great artists, including Alison Brown and Mike McGoldrick, and perhaps best known for his work with Chris Drever. And that duo was an early inspiration for We Banjo 3 when we saw them way back at Celtic Connections Festival in Scotland. Next up is Kieran Hanrahan from his album. Kieran Hanrahan plays the Irish tenor banjo. And here he is playing two tunes, Kitty Gonamilkin and Music in the Glen. And of course, Kieran has been on this podcast. And if you want to hear all about him and his very storied and very illustrious career as a radio presenter and a former member of the groundbreaking Stockton Swing, then you can check that out on this very podcast. This second instalment of my top 10 favorite banjo tracks is a band called Kalanua from a 2001 album called Next Stop. The banjo player uh, with Kalanua is a great musician called Own O'Macker. And I always felt Kalanua were a fantastic band, perhaps didn't get the notoriety that they deserved for their excellent uh, recordings. But here they are with a uh, piece of music that they have called the Listener Gun Set. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for sticking with me right to the end. If you want to support the podcast, you can do that on uh, Patreon. The link is in the description, as they say. And again, once uh, more, just a big shout out to all the patrons of the podcast, everybody that's helping keep the old lights on. And I'll see you on the next episode of Inside the Banjo Wars.